Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy Freeze coming at you with a new con highlight of the week. And this week, I want to do something a little bit different. I was thinking about all the different underrated bots, and I was thinking about what the underrated bots are for each class. And so today, I'm going to think about and talk about the warrior class. And so, when you think about the warrior class, who do you think some of the underrated bots are? Who do you think I'm going to do this video on today? I tell you what. I'm going to give it a short break, think about it, and I'll be right back with you. So this week's con highlight is going to be on none other than Barricade. And so first I'm going to go take a look at some of the stats. We'll talk about some of the good and the bad that comes along with Barricade. And so starting off talking about the good stuff, I love this guy's damage per second. Uh, it's 529.4 at level 61. Uh, still got a couple of levels to go. Uh, I usually don't carry bots up really past that uh, for testing purposes uh, just because realistically speaking you're going to stay in that same range as 60 between 60 and 65 for a really long time unless you just just keep pounding away with the coins so that's one thing that uh, I, I always try to test at level 61 for a, a, for an older bot if it's a brand new bot I want to show you those statistics but so and 20,100 health um, which is a little on the low side for for a warrior class bot, but I'll show you for comparison's sake that puts him around the same neighborhood as Ramjet, and so let's go look at Ramjet st stats real quick, so you can see so you can see what that looks like. All right, so. Yeah, a little bit higher in damage, but he's also a little bit higher in level. He's at level 62. Um, health is a little tiny bit higher. You know, um, with Barricade, he was at 20,100, so 600 less. Um, but that's, comparatively speaking, that's what we're looking at uh, in terms of in terms of damage and health per second. Uh, damage per second and health. And then we also got the special ability. And so the thing I love about the special ability, Essence Death, is that you get a life drain that's going to be involved in it and so at level 10 is where i have this one it says rush in for a drain and strike deal 2897 damage and then you heal for double the amount and then I, I, the double down on that i've got that g1 barricade core and so for 10 seconds after your ability you get a you move and attack 60 percent faster so you're getting a speed boost and then you get all your regular attacks to heal you for 30 percent 33 percent of the damage done with a maxed out g1 so i want to show the speed difference so i'm going to unequip this first and then i'll show you what he looks like without a core in battle and so i do that on my end for a for a base trial Let me go ahead and take myself out of the screen so just in case I can wind up in that corner. You can see what Barricade is doing. All right. So for him, one of the other high, um, high points for him is that I like that he's got a decent amount of range. So you can actually rush into that attack. Try to, and in this case, I can actually avoid some stuff. Um, right now, my base is still, well, my test server base is still under construction. But yeah, his attacks are, are pretty slow right there. So now I'm going to try it again with the G1 core. And you can see that speed boost. And that speed boost is going to be important because the faster you attack, the more damage that you're going to be able to do and the more healing that you're going to get. So we'll go back. To, uh, I accidentally clicked on his uh for his 
picture and everything. All right, so we can put G1 barricade. Now you have to excuse the appearance of the graphics for the actual core. Uh, on the test server, we just got something going on where it's not showing all the graphics properly right now. But, you know, that is G1 barricade core. You know, I put it up there earlier uh, just to kind of play around with because this is one of those bots that I, I, don't, I don't use. I don't have, like, the five-star, so I had to come get it off the test server. But either way, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool core for what it does. And it just amplifies his already pretty decent abilities. I was actually playing around. I was using him on ability level one. And he was still pretty powerful. I mean, obviously it gets better as you go add to it. But, yeah, I, I kind of I like this dude. Even though I hadn't been using as many warrior class bots these days. With the exception of Ramjet for sack strategy stuff. But, now this is another thing. So this is a good and a bad piece. So you saw that he does that kind of backflip. A lot of people don't like it because he can get into trouble by doing that backflip, and that's a turn off for a lot of players. But it's also a good chance that he's just going to flip right over a wall or something like that if a base is set up that way, like, like this particular one is. And what that does is because he has great range, now you're in a position where you can advance the base a little bit further and that's always good for me. And so I'm looking at this power meter and, and unfortunately I'm right there by MDS. So that took him out, you know, that's my own fault for that. But I just want to kind of show off his ability a little bit. So maybe what I'll do, maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll run another one in zone 15, just so you can see that combination of the cool and that combination of that and the and the life the life drain because it's going to take some time for it to get working uh so I'll go back into zone 15 and i'll take it i'll take it a little bit slower this time because this time i just kind of just rushed them up up that left side but i just wanted to kind of show off the the range that he has which i find to be pretty decent So we'll try it again. And so this time, if this attack's going to heal, he takes that jump. And this time, now, this is one of the reasons why I bought Vertebrake in, into this particular one. Because, you know, you get stunned. Now, granted, it takes a couple of seconds for Vertebrake to come out. So you still wind up getting, getting um, beaten there on the corner. And right now, I'm really just trying to highlight some of the DPS. And so eventually, I'm going to get to the point where I use them in a team. But it's also one of those bots. You got a couple of different uses you can use for them because you can use them as part of your sack strategies. You can use them. Um, he's got, you know, a little bit higher health. So uh, I like to focus when I'm looking at, at power cores. I'm trying to go use power cores that are going to uh, kind of aid in his in his ability in his um that life drain and so i start looking at like you know like alchemist prime core i start looking at if you know if you get the prime core available or if you don't have g1 you don't have alchemist and you know a simple rejuvenate core we'll do the we'll do the trick for the time being and it's just this is good. He has a, that nice long range. And he's got that speed burst. So, like right here, kind of just throw him in there, add some, some quick damage during the sack strategy. But, like, that that health just kind of becomes a factor. So, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to actually go in here and run him with some of my other teams or some of, my, some of the teammates I got up there because. What I was able to do before, earlier in the day, is I would run like some healers behind them, and I'd let them just take down some of the defenses in the front. Plus, like I said, I got Vertebrake up there to try to add some additional damage, and then drop the team in from behind. And I think one of the 
one of the issues and why Barricade hasn't been as popular. A, because of that that flip. But B, you know, it's, it's one of those issues where... Actually, so I'm going to do this. I'll drop Soundwave and get those minions to pop. Alright, so we got... Looks like hot spot there. Plus, I kept myself from getting stunned. And so now I'm going to get him in there and let, let him get in there behind some healers. And that seems to be helping his health meter stay up because I'm not just thrusting him into danger. Now, he might thrust himself into danger here in a little bit. But, like, from here, I got a lot of, got a lot of range, so I can take out this mortar. And, you know, and, and what I like is the the cost of the ability is not is not overwhelming. You know, it starts out there. I think it started at four, and you know, it's plus two each time though. So that's always a good thing, in my opinion, just because uh, you can use it more than once. But the, the the tough part about it is that he dies um, if he. You know, if he gets into a high traffic area. And so it is one of those things to consider when using barricade. But either way, that's enough to come pull that base down. And I think that, um, I don't know, I want to do some comparisons to some more warrior class bots. So let's go and take a look statistically. Cause, I, Cause I'm curious more about anything about that that health that he has, and trying to get it to just trying to whittle that down, and and, and to why he's uh as as to why he's uh so vulnerable to that. Like I said, and it is a lot less health, but when I go look at from a class perspective. This is more of like your offensive type tank. And so that's why they they try to balance it with, uh, a little bit. Space Ape tried to balance it with his natural with his natural attacking ability. So here you see like I got a a four star head strong up there at level fifty nine. Alright, so you know Damage is about half the damage that I have from from my um, barricade, but he's also got quite a bit more health. Block quite a bit more health as a four star. Nightbirds kind kind of up there a little bit with some damage, but I said most of these guys I got a four stars, so the only five I really got to compare to is Tantrum, which is obviously like way higher in health and I see even at level 59 and then like I said earlier with Ramjet so let's see so yeah I kind of like this is a um, more of a really high attacking high attacking like sack strategy or even is a cheap way to get just a, the, the, a cheap way to kind of take out some of those defenses you can't reach, especially like a lot of, I know a lot of players aren't using jets as heavily anymore. And so you got another way to just kind of shoot them ahead and maybe maybe even do a couple of different tactics. Maybe do some backdoor tactics where you send him one way to take all the attention and then come up the backside. All of those are valuable, viable op options for barricade. But I really like like when he jumps over those walls, uh, but depending on layout, because it's not always a good thing for him to jump over the wall. But when I want to try to get a little bit of extra range, so right now that puts me in range to advance the field. I can do a little bit of sacrifice. And then the rest of my team can, can do their thing. So yeah, it's not too bad. I think it's good. 
I think I would probably use him more in sack strategy uh, if I didn't have if I didn't have a uh, ramjet already. Uh, just giving you different options. But yeah, I mean, he did his part. I mean, it's not it's essentially not any different than if I was using any one of my sack bots. And then if you don't get him into a lot of traffic, if you don't get him into a lot of traffic, then then you can actually uh, kind of help him help the team advance the field a little bit. Personally, I probably with that with that health, I probably would continue to use more as like I said in the, in the sack sack strategy. But it's like I said, there's a couple other ways to go about it. But that's all I wanted to do. Like I said, I, I, I do think he's a little bit underrated just due to the health aspect and, and due to the, the, the jumping backflip thing that he does randomly. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. Any of you guys use the, any of you guys use him at all? Do any of you guys uh, have any other suggestions for anything for loadout or anything like that uh, let me know in the comments and if you're on my discord server I'll actually try it out and I'll shoot you a video on the discord server um, if you aren't a member of my discord server I'll leave that information down here in the in the uh, bio for this particular video just so you can kind of see some of the, and a couple of my other social uh, social media links but that's a lot of we talk a lot of strategy in there and we genuinely just have a good time in there so if you're not on there uh, join because you know I'm going to wind up uh, especially as they start to get the gifting set up for the cyber pass uh, I'll start running get giveaways and stuff up there but I'm only going to do that for the folks uh I don't know. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. So I'm not going to say that, but I'm leaning towards doing it for the folks on my Discord server. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But anyway, that's my con highlight for the week. I'm not sure what class I'm going to do next for this underrated series. But if you got any ideas, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys next time, and I will see you on the battlefield. Freezy is out.